Hello everyone, welcome back, and this is going to be my first review of the new year. I hope you're all having a great new year so far, and I'm here to talk about La La Land, which is the first movie that I've seen in 2017. Yes, I know it came out in 2016, like 2016, but it just came to my theater recently, and I decided to go check it out. Now, I've been, now I've been anticipating this movie for a few months now, and it's not just because of all the hype and praise, but that is a small factor. But it's because, like I said earlier, when I watched a couple horror movies last year, I'm trying to expand my horizon and try movies that I wouldn't normally want to watch. And I'm not a fan of musicals, to be honest with you. But this one looked like something special and different. So I decided I'd check it out. And plus, from that one trailer, it's called Dreamers. I mean, that trailer is just fantastic. It's like, okay, I'm gonna go see it. And before I get into a review, I have a couple, like at least 10 or 15 or whatever movies that I saw in 2016 that I didn't get to. My apologies, I've just been very busy. And I'll get to those when I get to those, and then when I get them all done, I would have a video up of the movies I saw in 2016 from worst to first. It'll be all the movies in order from worst to first, hence the title. And But after this video, I plan on uploading anticipated movies that I plan to see this year and what I'm looking forward to throughout the year. So let me get into my review of La La Land and this film is about a jazz musician who's trying to have his dream come true and open up his own jazz club and an aspiring actress who's trying to you know make it as an actress. They meet each other, keep running into each other and eventually if you've seen the trailers it's clear that they fall in love and they're trying to help each other and to get their dreams to come true. Now, let me just first start off and what I really liked about this movie, my favorite part absolutely was the cinematography and how it looks. This is just one of the most gorgeous movies I have ever seen. I mean, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It was just really great. Like, every single shot was just so... Oh, I mean, like on the theater, it was just really great to see, like, that, like on the posters on the marketing where they're at that, that light post and it's over the city. It just looks so gorgeous. I mean, it just really looks so great. And a lot of the Hollywood sets when they're on it, it just looks so good. I mean, it, it, it really made me feel like I was actually there. And it, it was one of those movies that I smiled for the majority of, I felt so happy watching this movie, and that's really hard for a movie to get me to do, to be honest with you. Um, I really thought the performances were really top-notch. Emma Stone, really great job in her role. Ryan Gosling also did a really good job, and I mean, this I can see why a lot of people are praising this movie and saying it's one of the best movies of last year. And how it's winning all these awards. Like I watched the Golden Globes. And it won all seven of its nominations. I mean. It, it doesn't deserve every single one. But it deserves a lot of its awards. I will give it that. The music. I mean. Fantastic music. The score. Great. Like. I love at least four or five of the songs. Another Day in the Sun. Love that song. Someone in the Crowd. Love that song. Starfighter. Fantastic. City of Stars. It has that nice tone to it. I think that's also a really good song. I just love the majority of the music. And it's just such a fun movie to watch. I mean, this is one of those movies that I think you guys should really check out. Even if you're not a fan of musicals. Just give it a watch. And if you don't like it, then I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Um, once this video is up and whatever. You can tell me what you thought of the movie. If you didn't like it, if you liked it, I would really like to know. Because... I mean, I really want people to talk about this movie. I mean, I know a lot of people are up there, but I haven't really heard any of my friends talking about it. No one's really wanted to see it. So if you, I think you should check it out because it's really worth a watch. But with all me kissing this movie's butt, there is one or two problems I have with it. One of the problems was um, it's too long. Like this movie is two hours and 10 minutes. I think you could cut about 30 minutes of the film out and it would be just the same because there are some filler scenes in it that really started to drag on like I was in the theater just checking my watch saying okay let's get this moving let's get to more of these 
fantastic music scenes and it just really dragged on on some scenes, sadly. Um, I really thought the plot was pretty um, good. Like, it could have been stronger, I suppose. But I think for what it was, it was pretty good. Um, the ending, which I won't spoil, but it's just, it's, it surprised me. I mean, it was, it was a unique ending, I'll say that. Like, it did it, it did its ending in a different way. So, that, that, those were my thoughts on La La Land. I thought it was really great. The, how it looked was fantastic. I mean, I was just, just stunned throughout. The performances were top notch. The music was fantastic. I mean, everything about this movie was really good, except for how you could cut about 30 minutes or 20 minutes or something of it out, and it would be just the same, and the story could have been a little bit better. But those were my thoughts on the movie. Um, I would give the film a uh, 8 out of 10. I think, I mean, if it wasn't for some of those problems, it would have been a little bit higher. I was deciding if it should be a 9 out of 10. I was deciding if it should be a 9 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10, but I just chose to have an 8 out of 10. So those are my thoughts. Like like I said earlier, I think you guys should watch this film because it deserves to be watched because the, the director, he's really stepping up his game. First Whiplash, now this. I mean, good job, man. Good job, Damien. So those are my thoughts on the film. What did you guys think? I really would like to know, so please leave your thoughts in the comments below. And look out for my video, hopefully. Now, I'm done making, I'm sorry for making promises that I'm known to not keep. But I'll try to get my anticipated list for movies out tomorrow or throughout the week. We'll have to see. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.